What's going on guys? Clint here with Classic Firearms and we've got Alec back today. What's up guys? And guys, it's a little weird out there, so uh, we're going to talk a little bit about TP. Something serious. Something serious, but you know what? Not that TP. Dude, what we're the- We're talking about TP9s. We were selling that on eBay! All right, guys, so obviously we're not here to talk about toilet paper. No, definitely no. not. Yeah, definitely not. We are here to talk about some Canik or Janik or Kanik. Shanik. Or, or however you want to pronounce it. I'm going to say Canik TP9s. And we've got them from the TP9. We got the SF, the SFX, the SDA, and your little guy. Yeah. So the... let's just start out with the uh, compact one. And okay. this is your personal one, right? Yeah, this is my personal everyday carry. So this is the TP9 Elite SC. So this was a highly highly requested firearm from them so they initially got popular with some of their mid-frame models yeah. you know like we were talking about with the sf and the da um used by turkish military and the special forces and they had all these large frame guns but they didn't have a small boy yeah so people were like these firearms are absolutely incredible they're super reliable like people were trying to blow them up and break them and all this yeah. other stuff and they just work they're awesome guns so last year they came out with the Elite SC. So this guy comes with two mags, which this one I have here is the 12 plus one. So 12 plus one, double stack, and I mean, a relatively small gun. I mean, oh, it's yeah. definitely not the smallest on the market, but I like this size overall. And one of the most important things to me is I like carrying with an optic. Granted, I don't have it on here right now, but it is cut for an optic as well. And these yeah. take these shield optics. You got the night sights, um, it's ambidextrous because everyone knows I'm left-handed. <laughs> so um, that was a big important factor for me. Um, and just overall, these things shoot really good. Yeah. And you cannot talk about a Canik or Janik or whatever you want to call it without talking about the trigger. So this yeah. guy has the single action trigger in it. So you can see you'll come up, a little bit of take up and you hit a defined wall. Like it's defined. And then you go right there and then you have your break, and then your reset is super crisp. And it's just all yeah. day long. I love this gun. For real, and I think the triggers that are in these guns, and for the price point that a lot of these are at, oh, yeah. you can't beat them, like, Definitely for not. real. I am super impressed with these guys. The next one we got up, speaking of triggers, is the double action one. Now this one, this one's weird. It is different. I'm not gonna lie, it is definitely different. Uh, so, pretty much your standard Canik TP9, however this is their double action variant. So of course, double action is different from single action. Double action is different yeah, from single yeah. action. Uh, as to where pretty much every trigger pull without a reset, or I guess you say without the slide having to reset. So it just goes for days, cool. Now the single action on this guy, check this out, right? So it's already in that double action position. You start to pull back some, and then it locks into place. Little different, was really not cool. expecting that, pretty cool. And then you notice the trigger pull right there, hit it and break. Now of course the reset on this, that is quick. Yeah. That's a, that's a fast one. Yeah. Yeah, so one more time here and yeah, you can tell it is pretty, pretty cool. Yeah. And also that burnt bronze color that they have on this thing is beautiful. Definitely yeah. a fan of that. And then you have the decocker on the top Oh as yeah, well. yeah, I forgot about that guy, so if it is, cocked as you can see as the red indicator right here on the striker you'll notice a little button right up here push that guy and that now decocks it so now it's double action yep so pretty cool stuff also too all of the tp9s do have the pick rail on the bottom most of them have the weaver um combat optic or combat sights too as well i want to say yes yeah the warren tactical sights. yeah warren yeah not weaver no yeah, am i talking obvious. about yeah I was talking about Picatinny <laughs> Weaver. No, no. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, so the Warren Tactical Sights are very easy to pick up. Love the sight picture that these guys give. So something right off the bat you're getting, which is pretty cool. And this guy here does have your 18 round mag capacity, which is very similar to the next one I'm about to talk about, which is this Big white boy. TP9 SFX, except yep. it is an 18 plus two. So you got mm -hmm. 20 rounds in the mag on this guy and talk about sweet mm. so look at that you've already got the ported slide as well oh god that is a good looking gun yeah it is beautiful 
So again, a beautiful pistol and also a beautifully shooting pistol. Yes. If I use those words correctly. <laughs> anyway, we took it to the range, shot it because why not, man? And it feels great. Trying to mag dump 40 rounds though, got a little tiring. Yeah, a little. Here. Yeah, but, 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 yeah. It's like at first it's like pop, 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 pop. <laughs> yeah. So that happens, but. The trigger does feel great on it. Great looking guns as well. And of course that one there sports the front fiber optic as well, which is pretty nice and very easy to pick up. So there's your sight picture on that guy. This thing's a cool color too. Like it's, it is. it's not white, it's not gray. Yeah. It's like a Alpine kind of like yeah. grayish white. I don't know, it looks really sweet though. Yeah, definitely a fan of this guy. They're just smooth, man. They're they, smooth. They are. They the triggers really feel great. Good. Yeah. Mm. All right. And then moving on to the last one here, we just got the TP9 SF. This is pretty much like their go-to standard gun, I guess yeah. you would say. Yeah. One last thing I did actually want to point out on the SFX, notice that extended mag release as well. It makes it very easy for some mag changes. Oh, yeah. Forgot to mention that, but glad I hit it. Anyway, TP9 SF. This is, like I said, your standard TP9. If you're looking for just a, I guess you could say a uh, scenario hits the fan type of gun. Just to do it all. Just to do it gun. all. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Not a bad one to go with. Tell me your thoughts, man. I like these a lot. So like Clint was saying, so this was one of the originals that they came out with, kind of what the name was built upon. Um, so you do get the 18 plus one, which is really nice. We already talked about the incredible trigger that these guys have in them. Um, same thing, worn tactical sights. Um, there's just so much that you can say about them, but they're just and awesome. And the price. I yeah, mean, I mean, you, you can't, can't beat the price you on cannot these cannot beat the price on these. And also too, everything that it comes in the case yeah. on these guys as well. This is the case for the TP9 SFX. They all come with holsters and also the paddle right back here. So of course, if you're looking to attach that to your belt or whatever, you can do that. So very easy, comes with cleaning rods, brushes, your extra mag for the SFX, it even comes with your different RMR or optic sighting mounts. Yes. So if I get that guy out of there. So whatever type of optic you decide to run on it, or if you don't, you just wanna keep the sights, you can. Pretty cool how it comes with all of those extra little things, mm -hmm. you know, adjustable back straps as well. So really cool stuff. And another thing too, guys, especially with this model, I mean, granted, you could run any of these, but with this one in particular, if you were wanting to get into, say, like three gun or like any kind of competition pistol shooting, if you didn't want to spend a whole lot of money, this is a oh, great yeah. option. I know a lot of guys, um, you know, kind of in the competition circuit that actually start off with a lot of yeah. these and still use them because they shoot great. You know, you can run them just they're not going to quit. You can put a really high round count on these. Um, you get great sights. You know, you, it comes with all the stuff to mount your uh, RMRs and all that kind of cool stuff. Yep. Great triggers, high mag capacities, um, and the price. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, really, that's one of the best things about them. Exactly, guys. So, and last thing we want to talk about here is the whole other line of TP9 pistols that we have that we're not currently showing here. They've got the ones that already come with like the Vortex optics on it, which Those are, are really sweet because yeah. I'm a fan of Vortex myself. Mm -hmm. Check out our Vortex lineup. And also like the Combat Elites. Yeah. Oh. Flat bow trigger, suppressor ready, yeah. uh, cup for an RMR. I mean, this thing is just super nice. Yeah, so check that out, because those are just beautiful. And uh, those are pretty much like what we have right now, right or now. at least before I we before are, we came here to shoot the video. Yeah. Because things are crazy right now, if you haven't noticed, and if you haven't noticed. We are selling out of a lot of stuff. <laughs> yeah, there, there is that. So thank you, first off. Yeah. Head over to classicfirearms.com. Go ahead and do that product search for Canic, well, anything, but TP9, and go ahead and check those out, because you don't want to miss out on these guys. Definitely great costs, not. great guns, check them out. And while you're over there looking at that, go ahead and get your entries in for the Gilboa rifle that you see right here behind me. I love that thing. If you haven't seen our video on that, it's pretty much a double barrel AR-15, two barrels, two triggers, two everything. Go check it out. It's wild. It's a lot of fun. Alec and I don't practice our social distancing. And uh, I guess it got a little weird. Got weird. Yeah, you yeah, forgot weird. one of the most important things, there, which is um, grip knife. Grip knife. Grip knife! <laughs>
<laughs> yes, so it also has the grip knife. And if you don't know why Alec is yelling about it, just go to the video, oh, go to the awesome. comments. Grip yeah. knife is awesome. I love the grip knife. <laughs> Hartman Optic Grip Knife and Gilboa Rifle. Go check them out, guys. And as always, we appreciate you and your business. God bless. We'll see you next time at ClassicFirearms.com.